He was proving to me that he is who he says he is, that it was him on the video. Hello, babe. I love you so much. I love walking this country. I like, I'm being sincere to you guys right now. We can take you to our country. Send us your address. We'll book the flight. You can come see us. Hello, babe. Hi. Love you. I want somebody to love me the way that I would love them. Somebody that's willing to give their all for me. You're the lowest freaking scammer that I ever met. He will not. He will not. Because when you guys walk out the door, he's done. He's blocked. I'm looking at the real man's pictures as we speak. You know it's a lie. Yeah. And you have to stay that way here and here. I want it all. I want, I want it all. I want the happy ever after. In today's episode, we've teamed up with our good friends Trilogy Media to assist a woman named Leah in confronting the true identity of the man she's been communicating with online and has been warned by her closest friends and family members about the questionable transactions she's been receiving through her bank accounts on his behalf. Despite the red flags, Leah remains determined to uncover the authenticity of this man. So without any further ado, let's dive into this thing. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Hello, Social Catfish. My name is Leah. I'm on my quest to find love. I like romantic long walks on the beach and to, you know, save humanity. You know, on Facebook where you could give relationship status, mine should say cursed. My relationships, their personality has been completely different. I got married at 15 for five years. I mean, I've gone from the Poindexter, you know, geek to the prison person that's, you know, institutionalized. I only date men that are about 10 years younger than me. This story doesn't start on a dating app. Leah was just scrolling through Facebook. I mean, I didn't even look at his Facebook profile or his, his pictures until we had been talking for about a week. This was the friend request that started it all. He friend requested me. I mean, I must have 150, 200 friend requests that I never accept. All he said was, hi, Leah, how are you? And I don't know what even brought me to message him back. I messaged him back saying hello. I don't know, it was just, he was just so sweet. I remember thinking, oh my God, this guy is so far out of my league. What, what is he talking to me for? He could have anybody, he's just gorgeous. His name is Chris Rodriguez. He looks like a model. He told me he's 44 years old. He obviously works out. He's muscular. He's just beautiful. He has perfect complexion. He has a beard. He has um, beautiful blue eyes. He dresses really nice. Yeah, he's um, somebody that gets manicures and gets his eyebrows waxed. He kept asking me if I'd eaten. Did you have anything to eat today? And I thought that was so sweet that he cared enough to to see if I had eaten anything. And then he, he called me his beautiful creature. I just let myself completely fall for this guy. And it, it happened rather quickly. Leah did have some doubts about this man. At first, it felt too good to be true. She demanded a video chat from him. He was only on the phone with me, maybe, maybe 30 seconds tops. He was proving to me that he is who he says he is, that it was him on the video. Hello, babe. I love you so much. I love the, you know, the choices you've made, or, you know, when picking all the colors in your nails. Uh, I love you so much. And I can wait for you to come back home so we can literally work on the BOA so we can activate it and, you know, try to see if we can afford paper or we gonna, you know, try to transfer the money using the routing number and the account number to the auto casher. So I will looking forward for you to come back home. I miss you so much. And I can't wait for you to come down to Miami. You are loved, my love. Hmm. The first time that he told me that he loved me was not even a week after we started talking. I love him more than I've ever loved anybody in my life. 
is my world. He sent me two pictures of, of two different beautiful diamond rings and asked me which one I liked and that he was going to ask me to marry him on his birthday and then he wanted to get married by the end of July. Shifted to me going to Florida and us getting married. When Leah found out that Chris wanted her to move to Miami, she dropped everything. I bought a plane ticket and was going to Florida. I mean, I had my plane ticket four months ahead of time. I um, quit my job. I gave my trailer away. Christopher called me and told me that, his, that he has to go back to Ohio for work, that he wouldn't be in Florida when I was coming, so. Leah was left homeless and had no job. Chris would ensure her that this was temporary. He just needed to clear up some things with his job and he would buy her a plane ticket straight to Miami. Like the stock market, he needs to buy us a bot signal from the Russians, he said. He uses this certain signal to trade on. How I understand it is that it, it tells you when to buy and when to sell. I had opened up my whole world to him. I sent Chris pictures of my social security card, pictures of my driver's license front and back, pictures of my debit cards, knew my bank account information, he knew my logon information and my email. His investors had reached their limit on being able to transfer money. So he asked if I would open an account I went to Chase and I opened up a bank account. He's having random people that he said are his investors because they'd reached their limit, send money to my Zelle at Jesus. It was like a thousand bucks a pop, I think. In total, I, I'm pretty close. It was pretty close to $34,000 that got ran through my account in a month. He said, no, you have nothing to worry about. You know, it's all legit. It's all from my, my uh, company, blah, blah, blah. Chase, like, cut off my ability to use Zelle. They sent me a letter saying that they were going to close my Chase account and not tell me why. You know, when I talked to Christopher about it, he said, oh, don't worry. He said, go to Bank of America and open a checking account there. And I linked my Bank of America account to my Cash App and did the same thing. Leah never felt she was being scammed. She had only sent him a $25 Google gift card in exchange for the Russian bot signal. I mean, it was never, never him asking me for money. I'm not doing anything illegal. These people are of their own free will investing their money for him to trade on. All of a sudden, Bank of America just closed my account, period. They said that they had decided that they did not want to do business with me anymore and they don't have to tell me why. It doesn't matter why. The fact is they just don't want to do business with me anymore. And all the while, he's telling me, you know, I have nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be okay. You're just, in a matter of days, you're going to be here and... You're going to want for nothing. You're not going to need to, you know, worry about anything. Everything will be taken care of for you financially. Rather these transactions were coming through Zelle or Cash App, it all was being forwarded to Chris after she received it. I am completely banned from using the Zelle platform. I have a Wells Fargo account now. Um, he has all that information. After being banned by two banks, Leah is still determined to help Chris. That's the thing is that I'm not a stupid person. He's got a silver tongue. I mean, he has an answer for everything. There's nobody or nothing that comes before him. He's the love of my life. He's the um, man of my dreams. He's my world. I, I, I don't want to lose this dream. He's the first person I think of when I wake up, he's the last person I think of before I go to sleep. I am constantly, you know, looking at my phone for, did he message me or it just makes me super happy. If he called me right now and asked me for my help, I would do whatever I could do to help him. 
I want somebody to love me the way that I would love them. Somebody that's willing to give their all for me. I want it all. I want, I want it all. I want the happy ever after. All right, Seekers, we had to go visit Leah in person. Our team pulled all of the information we could and got on the next flight to Portland and Trilogy Media was coming along too. We all had one common goal, to give this woman the truth. Hi, I'm Leah. We set up and then we sat down with Leah. You could tell she was concerned about where this money she was receiving was coming from. For how long this relationship been going on? Since February 16th. There's many, many, many hours invested in us talking. I have a hard time believing that somebody could spend as much time as we have spent talking, getting to know each other and not feel something. I guess I worry, I worry about what was he having the money wired through my account for? You know what I mean? What am I what? laundering money for some war, buying guns, buying drugs for people, you know what I mean? Who, who's, what are these people being told that wired money to my account? What do we think? Like, what is, what is your- No, and I, so, that's him. Come up to him. That's him. All right. Hello, man. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's wrong? You sound upset. Hello? I had your stress out, man. Why? I don't do it a lot of work lately, just so stressful. Yeah. Something other than the normal day to day bullshit or what? Just not my daily work, just so stressful. Well, I don't know what you mean. You're being kind of evasive about it. What are you talking about? What's what's bothering you? Ah, uh, I just was stressed out there. I'm sorry, honey. Um, I have some friends flying from California, so we're sitting here visiting. Oh, California. California. Are your friends or something? Yeah. Your friends? Yeah. Her family lives in Seattle, so they're just coming through going to Seattle. Uh, Seattle does sound a sea different Spanish like Seattle. Mm -hmm. It sounds Spanish? Yeah, it sounds Spanish. Oh. Seattle. Seattle? How do you say it? Yeah. Like Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's Brie. We went to school together and we've just kept in touch over the years. So, her and her husband. Um, so, yeah, I was just, I, it was funny that you called because I was just telling her about you. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. How's hey, you doing? Chris. How you doing? Fine. How you doing? Oh, we're doing amazing. We actually, we just been talking about you and we're so happy that you such a good person and you such a good friend uh, with Leah and we cannot wait to meet you in person finally. Wow. She told you I'm going to meet by November. She did. Yeah, she did say that. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to see you guys as well so we can throw some nice party. Did we invite it? Are we invited for the wedding? Because we, you know we're going to be there. Definitely, you're going to be invited. That's nice. awesome. <laughs> what, what, do you guys, what do you guys need for wedding? What kind of presents should we buy? What do you guys need? Uh, I, think, I think that should be you know, left for you to do that. Because you know, I, I'm not your pocket, so you can just do anything that is nice. Yeah. Leah gonna be missed. We, she's gonna be missed. We're gonna miss our friend. You taking our friend away from us. <laughs> I know you gonna miss her, but that's my problem. So what is your name? Oh, my name is Vlad. Oh, you sound. You, you know, you have a very nice name. I am your sound a savior for Greece. Do you like to drink? Because like my people, they drink a lot of vodka and stuff. Can we drink together with you on the wedding day? Yeah, definitely. I love to drink, but I, you know, I, I drink responsibly. But my wife, Brie, always tells me, like, baby, drink responsible. One bottle of vodka per day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Chris, I wanted to ask you, is it okay if Leah shares your phone number with us? I want to surprise her with something nice. I feel like she's always doing nice things for you. That makes sense. Yeah. That's my problem. Okay. Awesome. That's cool. We're looking forward to see you and we, we want to send something, some present for you guys. Yeah. We're really excited. We're happy for both of you. I'm happy too. Wow. Well, I, I, I appreciate it. 
Sounds good, buddy. See you soon. See you at the wedding. I'm gonna be dancing. I'm gonna be drunk on a podium. <laughs> no, I'm, no, 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 I'm not gonna be drunk. Wait. Oh no, I'm talking about myself. I'm gonna be your embarrassing invite. You know, I'm gonna be one of those friends. <laughs> Jump on the table. I'm gonna be half naked. You know, making noise, shaking my minute. booty. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we need to be drunk. I don't believe your wife would allow you to be drunk, so I don't think that's farce. Oh, I'll be drunk too. Once a year she allows me to drink and she said, you know what, let's be loose, let's be naked, let's dance. Not at my wedding. Wow. <laughs> He's joking. I'm joking, of course I'm joking. <laughs> Chris, you have a really cool accent. What is that, what is that accent came from, Chris? And I, I would just say like, came from a France and UK, so... Oh, British accent. Yeah. I think British accent yeah. is one of the sexiest accents in the world. I love your British accent. Chris, I actually have a question. You know what? Uh, Leah told me that uh, your profession is a day trader, right? Yeah, yeah, I trade up. I trade, so... So I was trying to introduce my wife to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Do you think it's a good time to buy Bitcoin and in invest money in cryptocurrency. What do you think? And trading Bitcoin is you have to trade Bitcoin with someone that is a professional that know what he's doing. Find a professional that can do the job for you, deliver you. That is also amazing. Do you do you think like it's okay if I will call you later and like maybe you can help me to set up account? I want to open like um, cryptocurrency wallet and just invest a little bit. You know, just see how it goes. Yeah, sure, just, oh, just steps me. I don't want to tell you, like, before you call me, just steps me. He'll invest for you and bring you the profits. I'm going to make a lot of profit for you. I already love you. Like, when I'm going to come to your wedding, hopefully I'm going to have already a lot of profit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you have to do, what you have to do now is, I don't know if you guys have cash yet. Cash up. I, yeah, I have cash up. You have cash up? Yeah, my wife, yeah, she's a smart cookie. Should I give him, should I just have him call you and, or give him your uh, Bitcoin address? I want to do a boom. If you come for this cash up, we are good to go. Yeah. I'd also give myself a number to your friend. I will. Vlad. 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 I said Vlad. Vlad. Vlad Zimmer, Vlad Zimmer. But you can call me Vlad. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, the full name is Vladimir, Vladimir. Oh. But it's a short version of Vlad, Vladimir. <laughs> the way he says it like he's a gangster. <laughs> yes, I like it, guy. Nah, but that's a nice Yeah, yeah, he's a nice person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right. Okay, babe. Right, love so. I love you too, honey. Okay. All right. Bye. Love you, brother. Bye. 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 One more kisses. <laughs> After Leah got off the phone, we sent a Cash App link to Chris's phone. But this wasn't just some normal link. When he clicked on this, we were going to be able to track his IP. And we knew he couldn't resist. We were able to pinpoint his location within minutes. Come on. Got him, Nigeria. Oh! oh my god. Yes! That's crazy. Oh, sorry, can't leave you hanging. <laughs> Boom! Come here. Boom! Oh Boom. my god. Saka! That's you insane. Son of a... You such. Okay. okay. We did this, Bree. Good job. Cash up, baby. Cash up. Nice Love that. Money. Being desperate, desperate, it always fucking works. Desperation, baby. Do you want to know the news? Yeah. Do you want to know where he came from? Yeah. Nigeria, right? The evidence is right here. He clicked it. This is exact his location, where your boyfriend is. He's not in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm sorry, Han. He been lying to you all this time. He's not in Cleveland, Ohio. He does not have British accent. He has Nigerian accent, and he's right now in Nigeria. He clicked it. So I um, 
I want to confront him on the phone while you guys are here. We can make that happen. Can I, I mean, I want to tell him, look, I've had you investigated. Yeah. You just clicked on a link that was a total fake yeah. here in Nigeria. Yep. He's calling. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hello, baby. Hi. So, um, listen. Yeah. So, you're on speakerphone. <clears throat> the link you just clicked on, that was fake. I've been having you investigated. I know you're in Nigeria. I know you've lied to me. So why, what? Why are you doing this? Who? Who? Don't who? That's, that's my question. Who? As in who the f are you? I don't understand what you're saying, babe. You understand exactly what I'm saying. The link that my friend sent you, that you clicked on. You're in Nigeria. So why are you I, lying to me? I, no, no, no. You did. I didn't click on any link. Listen to me, you didn't click on a link. This is Vlad from Trilogy Media and Social Catfish. We private investigators and we investigate scam. And you just got fucked by clicking on that link. We know your location. We know your IP address. Don't call her babe. You've been manipulating this woman, this awesome, kind person for six months. Yo, cut this shit. Yo, fucking scammer. Why have you been using someone else's photos? It's Eric. You stole Eric pictures. We found the fake ID you used as well. Why are you doing this? What's your real name? What's your name? My name is Chris. Chris in Nigeria? Using Eric pictures? Who is Eric? You tell me. Why are you doing this? How many other people are you doing this to? Babe, babe, calm down. Don't call her babe. I think, I think Vlad is making a mistake here. I'm looking at the real man's pictures as we speak. I've actually spoken to him a few days ago. Do a video call right now. Before I say that my company will allow me. Yeah, bull Your company in Nigeria? Stealing money from innocent woman in America and pretending that you're this handsome guy and you have a good interest and you want to marry? I've never seen you taking money from her. So take it easy, man. You're mistaking me for someone. Then, then video chat right now. Show me you are who you say you are. Video chat. I'm not lying. You are. We have friends in Nigeria and it's a such a beautiful country. People like you, piece of putting on such a bad reputation. Nigerian prince. You going after lonely woman who's trying to find happy relationship. You have no morals. You disgrace to your country, to your religion, to your nationality. You're broke as f Your business is to scam people. Your business is damage lives. He hung up. I'm heartbroken. So many women in your shoes in the same position. If I save one person from having to go through this, then it wasn't in vain. This was hard on Leah. She sacrificed so much, and all she wanted to do was help this man. But our team had more to reveal to her. That's his Instagram, though. It's so, the real guy. I have all those pictures. Yo, and he has his own life. He has nothing to do with this. He just stole all these photos off this Instagram. And he, he's aware that, that you've been scammed with his images. I've got him hanging in my fucking bedroom. <laughs> Like, it hurts right now, but you yeah. want to get rid of this guy. Like, he's a, he's a leech that's yeah. been sucking your life for all this month. Mm -hmm. I'm so fucking stupid. Why can I believe it? Why would I ignore it? You're not stupid. He's been manipulating you from day one. What's there to work out? You've been lying to me. Nothing he said is true. Not a fucking word. I mean, I feel like you've always had like a sense of, yeah. of him being fake, yeah. right? You already were aware before you even reached out to us you just right. 
kept um, making excuses for him, right? Why doesn't he tell? Why doesn't he do a video chat? Then he doesn't want to go to prison. Why doesn't he show me who he really is? Why doesn't he be man enough to do that? Fucking piece of shit. So just to, just so you understand, uh, all those people that have been sending those transactions to you, we're pretty sure that all those people are in scams too. The thing is, though, they're, what do you mean? Like they're being scammed? Your relationship with Chris is not the same with their relationship with Chris. Chris is having you be his person that transfers money around from person to person. Is, is that what I've done? Am I going to be like jail time? Am I going to go to jail over this? Well, that's why we want to look into the financial information with you and see how we can make a timeline to help you out. We want to file, we want to help you file a police report. We want to help you file a, a report with the FBI. We want to help you move forward. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, Leah, you're a victim too. who has been taking advantage of you. Yeah. Or, I don't know who they are. Yeah. They're his investors. They no, those are people that, that he's are, been. He's either yeah. sc rom other people that he's roaming romance scamming. They could be business scams. We looked into some of those people. Some of them, some of them are married, so he could be running multiple scams, and we can stop those. Now that she had the truth, Leah was set on finding out who she was truly talking to. She needed to see this man face to face. That's your exact location. You're fucked. You're going to prison. Hey, he's on the phone. Can you see my face? Can you see my face? Can I want to see his face? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we can hear you. You can see me. Come on, video chat. Turn on your video. Be man enough to do it. Why don't you guys help me out? Why don't you be man enough and help me out? Help me out. Stop lying. Video. Video. I'm gonna have a very nice conversation with yeah. you guys. Video, the video then. No. Turn on the video. Yeah, take it easy. Don't tell me take it easy. I'm fucking irate right now. Turn on your video. Why can't you look me in the face? Let me tell you something, guys. There's nothing bad. You taking this poor boy out from this asshole country and bring me down to your country and that would be useful for us. And I think it's cool. No job. The country is fucked. Mm -hmm. No way to make money. No way to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Try to do this to a thief? No. I don't, I don't have anything to do. I don't have BOS. Like, it's crazy. You're so, right. so you're admitting. Why not just, why not just pick me up and take me to your country and make me useful for us? We could take you to our country. Send us your address. We'll book the flight. You can come see us. I'm bleeding instead of you to fuck my life. We want you to come out here. We want to meet you. Why not, why, why not just me being under you and you let me be useful for once. I'm a graduate. Like, no, walk in this country. I like, I'm being sincere to you guys right now. So, I will go to the ends of the earth to get you arrested if you don't fucking show me your face. So oh, fucking god. Leave the government alone. Don't blame fucking government for your own shit. Your government made you lie to me? Your government made you use me? <laughs> I promise you on my white skin. Yes, that's right. I'm white. Everything you know about me is real. Show me your face or I will fucking make sure you go to prison. Show me your face or I swear to God. I promise you, I will make sure that you go to prison. What what you wanna do right now does not want it. I get in it. Because this heart you wanna you wanna take to praise you loves you. You you did give him my bank account information. You are a Nigerian fucking scammer. No, I'm not taking it easy. No, I'm not. <laughs> The last six months I have given you everything. Everything I've had to give another fucking human being. You worthless piece of shit. You, stop you fucking coward. You should stop scamming people. You're a fucking coward. You're a fucking coward. You I'm a fuck, I'm a fuck out you do it. But like what I'm saying is <laughs> this whole thing you guys wanna do in my life for my life. What? <laughs> You stupid motherfucker, what have you done to my life? Why would I laugh? Like, why would I laugh? 
I, why did I like it? I, I'm too hot. You, what you did is cruel. It's fucking cruel. You will no longer be able to manipulate her anymore. We are making sure she blocks and deletes your ass. Bye, Chris. You're done. Bye, Chris. Enjoy jail, bitch. We were all pretty disgusted that Chris wouldn't reveal his face. Oh yeah, already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break your life. I'm gonna break your bones. I'm gonna show you the Russian way. We deleting your number. We deleting number. We blocking you. Uh, um, uh, right now is a uh, 9.38. I don't, yeah, fucking turn the light. I know it's a night in Africa, deep shit. Turn the light on. No, no, Did you pay no, your fucking bill, electricity bill? Do you have fucking electricity? No, 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 no. We, uh, you don't even know about this country, man. This, okay, fine, check it out. I put it on camera. Right, I'm telling you. No, I saw a little bit. Come on, come on. Put, put your phone closer. Did, do what you just did. Put your phone closer to your face. A little bit closer. It's your fingers. Show me your face. You, you see my face? Show me your face. It might be our minds playing tricks on us, but if you look closely, you might be able to see his face at the bottom of the screen. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, because it was, it was a clean shot for a second of him. You know what's sad is I feel for the guy. I feel for him right now. I feel first apology bullshit. I mean, I'm angry, but I don't want to hurt anybody on this planet. I don't want to hurt anybody. But he can't fucking. He's leaving me no choice. He's giving me no options. My head on the I don't. I fell in love with this fucking lie. He says, I know him. I don't know him. I don't know. I don't know nothing about him. He had me hook, line, and sinker. I gave up everything to go be with this guy. I was going to move on across the United States, give up all my friends, everybody I know, to go on a lie. I'm not that desperate, though. He manipulated you. He's very good. You can pick yourself up and believe that we are coming to you. I had a friend of mine. We got into an argument over this. He's telling me, Leah, this dude is scamming you. You are not stupid. What is wrong with you? I'm glad you came to us because what was going to happen on November 10th? <laughs> he he would have come clean, he says. <laughs> you stupid fucking bitch. God. <sighs> it's so not right. <laughs> He just wants to try to talk to me alone so he can continue to manipulate me. That, that, that's what we don't want. That, that. He will not. He will not because when you guys walk out the door, he's done. He's blocked. He's no more.